Hi everyone, welcome back to my kitchen garden. I know it's been a little while since I've put a video up, but I thought I'd put something together and catch you up on the garden. Let me show you around and you can see what's been uh, coming out. So I'm gonna take you from one side of the garden to the next. I've got some honeysuckle right here. It's been coming out. And you got a sack of potatoes and uh, here are some uh, clematis that uh, I planted. They're slowly coming up. I'm not sure if I'm going to see that much of them this year. And then the far bed over here has some cherry and trees and some blueberry trees or bushes. I put peppers in here. These are all the um, they called lemon, uh, hot lemon peppers. And I've put a lot of sunflowers in there too. Uh, the traffic outside here is going by. Uh, a lot of flowers, sunflowers also. I've got uh, a couple flowers I need to plant out front. Just haven't had time. I, my peaches are starting to look good. They're getting larger. You can see one right there. I'm sorry about the sun. We'll see. Yeah, a patch of uh, uh, sunflowers I put in just to get some things in the ground there. Here's a, a trellis I created. I'm not sure if I showed you this before. Um, created another trellis for the cherry tomatoes, these are the sweet 100s. Uh, I've got um, serrano peppers all along here, some zinnia. These are all more sunflowers. I've got a couple different kinds of uh, tomatoes here. Got spinach, I need to pick. The green beans are slowly coming in. Got the butternut squash here. Or no, sorry, this is the spaghetti squash. It's coming out. It's going to start wandering. This is acorn. Uh, lemon drop. I've got a um, summer squash, these are green egg. Got one down on the vine right now. A bunch of blossoms. And the garlic, and these are the um, cayenne peppers. A lot of flowers, a lot of buds there. And the uh, more of the sweet 100 cherry tomatoes making their way up the trellis. Um, it'll be interesting to see them go all the way around. They, uh, they got the garlic here it's coming in. Most of the um, garlic scapes I've cut off. You can see uh, one of the places I cut it off there. They come up, they loop around a little bit. They're really good uh, on the grill. Got my onions. Another, maybe another month until I pull the onions, we'll see. They tell me, they start drying up and that's when I yank them. We got cucumbers here. They're starting to climb. Uh, if I was looking before, I was 
Yep, I got a flower right there. Some more starting to come out. Carrots. They're working hard. I've got my four or six uh, poblano peppers. This was my lettuce bed. It's gone to seed. I'm, I've got to pull it and plant something else. Some more acorn squash. These are some of the pepper plants I'm hanging on to. I got rid of some. I think if, uh, if I get some space in the garden, I will put the peppers in. These are the potatoes. These are all uh, Yukon potatoes that are coming up. I have more Yukon up here. I'll just uh, grow over and just, I don't really have to do much after the, the plant grows up there. Here are uh, the pepper. These are all sweet peppers. I've got buds and flowers. They take, they'll take a while to come through and they, they will get larger. What is growing at a phenomenal rate are my beefsteak tomatoes. Now I've put all of this, this is a, a marsh hay mulch or hay I've put in as my mulch. Uh, um, and I've put a framework in here so that I can, as they grow up, as they get higher, I can attach them here and and then I'll just hold them up because uh, I knew putting this in it was going to go above these uh, cages but that's going well I have I have some um, squash down here this is uh, butternut squash uh, it's coming along. It's going to take a while. You know, I expect it to kind of go out along the whole yard here. So you can see there's a lot, a lot, a lot of things coming in. Um, I'm at a point where I'm out of space. I've got more things that I can put in the garden. Uh, but um, it's fun. You know, a lot of stuff... Uh, has, are growing up high. I also have another project here. You can see a big circle I'm putting in a fire pit. Uh, I think uh, we're going to end up, I'm going to end up digging. I was going to get an excavator to come in, but I'm just going to put my back into it. Well, here's my first day of digging the fire pit. It, uh, most of it was, the hard work was getting the grass out of there. I'm still doing some of that. Here I'm digging some more, a little deeper. Take this uh, incrementally. And I'm also something, putting some of the uh, grass up on the side. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to make mozzarella cheese. In the kitchen, I make it mostly for the whey that it produces. I'll use that whey for uh, fermenting some uh, some of the produce we get through the summer, uh, and hopefully the cheese turns out well. And we'll use that maybe with some tomatoes. Till next time, thanks for coming.